So I was talking to Air about how this is technically the finale of the story. It doesn't really feel like that, though. Yeah. I mean, even though we are, you know, at the end of the game and everything. Yeah, it seems like there's some... There's still some loose ends to tie up. They'll get tied up. Okay. Don't worry about it. I don't hear that many gunshots anymore. The operation must be drawn to a yeah, by the way, you're not yeah, in a good this... situation when it's not too many gunshots. By the way, we're playing Trauma Center New Blood, and I'm Red X Pairs Late. I'm Air 327. And the operation is drawing to a close. Yeah. No new injuries have been reported either. Well, that's good. <laughs> it looks to me like we so have the gunshots aren't very accurate. At least the remaining ones. Maybe so. Or they're dying. We can't do anything about that. <laughs> well, if yeah. We back them into a corner. Who knows? What Either they they're not do. accurate or too accurate. But not in the middle. <laughs> Cynthia. Doctor, they've taken Cynthia into custody. They have. Where is she? I want to see her. This can only end well. I've been waiting to talk to you, Cynthia. I never would have imagined that you were a spy. You were a big help to us at Caduceus, or so I thought. Did you do it for Ray, or was it your own decision? You don't know anything about him, Val. Apparently not. But I'm not interested in the aspirations of an arms dealer. Calm down, Val. If you don't mind, Cynthia, will you tell us about him? He was born and raised here, in this miserable land torn apart by civil war. He went to Russia and then to the United States in order to become a doctor. He realized his dream and started a medical company. But when he returned to his homeland to offer his assistance, he found only betrayal. What happened? The army tried to assassinate him while he was working at a refugee camp. He had devoted his life to saving the country and that was how they repaid him. Goodwill was an unwanted guest. Unfortunately, that's a reality for countries in turmoil. He had always been an advocate of reconciliation, but from then on, his thoughts became more radical. There is a legend among these people. They believe that long ago, a great flood destroyed mankind, save one family that landed here. As a member of the chosen people, he's allowed his pride to corrupt him. The forces of destruction are still weak, he said, and he began to yearn for greater power, regardless mm. of whether it was good or evil. That's how he became involved with arms trade and stigma. Yes, he sold his soul to the devil, and he received stigma from Professor Wilkins, with whom he was acquainted. You worked so hard at Caduceus to save people's lives. Was that all a lie? I honestly don't know. Although, I can say that I don't think the same as he does. For a time, I believed that I could change him, but his madness only grew stronger. After I left Caduceus, I came here to try and dissuade him from his plan. But shortly after I arrived, he put a shackle around my heart. What? See the scar on my chest, Val? <gasps> he implanted a pump unit designed to terminate my life. He hmm. has the ability to kill me by remote control whenever he wishes. And so, I, feel like there's I am easier bound ways to, to do this that castle. than implanting something on her heart. Yeah, but you know. He's a doctor, so he has to come up with a special way to do it. <laughs> yeah. But that's not what it's meant for. It's to save people like myself. This is horrible. If that's what's keeping you here, Cynthia, then let's remove it. I doubt that's possible, Val. We'll make it possible. That's not if how this have works. To trust us. There's still hope. What do you say? I'm sorry, Val. I'm sorry for everything. I can we just jump straight into the surgery? <laughs> like, we didn't even fully agree that we're doing it yet, but... Yeah. This is the implant he placed inside me. The image is a CAT scan that he took. That's convenient that, yeah, that she has say. access to that. Yeah, it's convenient he did that. And even further inside is the special chip he installed. It's pretty deep inside. Removing it won't be easy. Won't he find out what we're up to during the operation from your vital signs? What if he activates the chip while we're operating? That's not going to happen. He's at a college in Caucasus, in his own personal arc. He doesn't know anything about what's going on here. Even though he left you mm. here? That's why he left me here. 
He has no interest in me anymore. So why did he place the shackle around your heart? <laughs> Cynthia, I'm going to save you. I swear it. Thank you. You're the only one that never changes. So that's funny. If you're mm. playing this solo, you can, you know, play as Marcus and not let her save <laughs> Cynthia. I mean, that's basically what's about to happen. We must save Cynthia, no matter what. But hey, you can help. Technically. That doesn't mean that's gonna happen well, much. Let's I'll try. We'll be but I'll mostly be the stabilizer so be guy. Very careful while performing this procedure. Where is the pump unit located? It's in the atrium. Let's take a look inside. Is this the same kind of implant I have? If that's true, then we can remove all the control chips to completely shut it off. All right, so one thing that you can do is if you see um, hemorrhaging starting to happen, use the antibiotic gel on it. First, okay. Uh, one of the control pop. chips has stopped yep. functioning. Use the chip has been cut off. That's the, it's hemorrhaging. That's the second one. An irregularity on the EKG. Doctor, please right, be hold careful. On. Her heart is fibrillating. We're going to deal with that, too. Also, we're not okay. using the uh, G-Fib. We're using this again. Oh, uh, we'll be at the same time the when it lines up. Her. At least I'm not getting bads or anything. It's just a lot of cool. All right. Oh, I should. Vitals. Yeah. The implant has been separated. Let's don't don't worry about raising them too high because the cardiac arrest is going to keep happening. Yeah. This is the chip also, that's keeping her here. This will keep happening as long as the talk thing is up. <laughs> the chip is implanted directly into the heart. We should carefully peel this off little by little instead of ripping it off all at once. First, we need to disable the chip. Use the laser on right, the chip so to burn it. Thankfully, the okay. heart didn't begin the chip. So take care disabled. of those if you would. Oh, uh. Is that Antibiotic gel? gel, yeah. So only if they get worse do you need the drain. This okay. Is similar to the control chips. Begin the removal process with I wonder the if that's a coincidence. Next. Make now? What? This can't be. It's different than the control chips? We just have to keep deactivating it. It rebooted itself. <laughs> we can't remove it like this. Disable it again with a laser. The chip's been disabled. We can open another direct doctor. The chip rebooted again. Let's detach it with the scalpel. Wait. Fibrillation has occurred. Again? What's going on? She's undergoing cardiac Why arrest. Why did you do that? I don't know. Quickly. I don't know what's going on half the time. We have a pulse. Now's our chance. Scalpel. The chip has been... Don't start okay, celebrating take care of this first. We're only half uh, down. drain is down or down? No, you don't need the drain for any of these. I don't know. Not yet? Not yet. Okay. Please keep an eye on the EKG. Yeah, no, they were Place all, all fine. Okay. The has been placed inside the heart. Next. Another irregularity on the EKG. The first control all right. chip is in. Just wait. Three more to go. Fibrillation has occurred. Please suspend the treatment. It's a little late for She's telling that. She's undergoing cardiac arrest. <laughs> Massage the heart. Quickly. All over. There are still wounds left. The pump. All right, let's close the atrium. Vitals was are stable. Her heart is also remaining in stable condition. Okay. It seems like she'll be all right. This one's actually not too well, bad. Then, let's start closing. Yeah. Her. Especially considering where it is in the story. Yeah. Please close her up. Want to dump some stabilizer into her really quick? Sure. It'll help her feel, feel better after the surgery, even though that's not how that works. <laughs> that's basically how it works. Operation complete. The same tools. The same machine. It can be used for both good and evil. It all depends I mean, on the intent it's of it's not the exactly the same. Alright, thanks for the ace, Apollena. Yeah. Doctor. The patient is saved. We never pointed that out before. Oh. <laughs> We're back to our B. It's over, Cynthia. Yeah. We did it. Streak. <laughs> I'm so glad we could save her. You know, that's been our goal all along. To, to save, save this specific... Oh, lives. people's lives and in general, not this specific illness. And rid the world of Ill illness. You've <laughs> already made up your mind, haven't you, Marcus? About what? Yeah. 
Let's end this once and for all. Going to see Vahushti? It's time mm. to confront this master Vahushti. In the next... No, I'm just kidding. We're doing it this yeah. time. I feel like we need to just start calling him the Silent K. <laughs> Ooh, we're traveling. <laughs> All right, here goes. Should probably take some police with us. This is Bahushti's yeah, room? Some th something, at least. It's very quiet. Also, uh, you know, just casual stained Noah's glass arc. window of Noah's Ark in the background. Uh-huh. It has nothing to do with uh, you? what we were talking about in the last surgery. Who disturbs the serenity of my laboratory? I see you're so expecting him to pronounce it laboratory <laughs> with that accent. You are welcome here then. I guess not taking the police was a good move. Maybe. But how did Our you stupidity know saved us. Do you remember me, Ray? It's me, Valerie Blaylock, Cynthia's friend. She's the one who told us where to find you. And yes, we removed your wicked device from her. I see. You're Cynthia's friend. That's Thanks for repeating reason. what I just said. Do you remember Professor Wilkins Vahushti? I'm Marcus Vaughn, his associate. Does the name ring a bell? So, you're Dr. Vaughn. Uh, like, his voice trails off at the end of it. Like, so you're Dr. Vaughn. <laughs> Welcome, Father of Steve. It's an honor to meet you. Even if it was by mere chance, your discovery is of great significance. Hmm. You've got it all wrong. I'm not its father. I came here to eradicate it. What an ignorant decision. Your sense of duty as a doctor has blinded you to the possibility of life. What is needed in this world? which long ago reached maturity and began to rot away, is stigma, the power to create new life. All right, on a scale of one to lost it, I think he's <laughs> lost it. Yeah. Rejoice that you are chosen to take part in this momentous occasion. I knew you weren't normal, but you've completely lost it. I'm glad the game agrees with us. Yeah. What happened to you, Ray? You were a good doctor before. Just a ruthless murderer. Have you not yet tired of the meaningless praise you receive for saving people's lives? I don't think it's meaningless. <laughs> Open your eyes. The true nature of life is endless conflict. I mean, coming from you, that sounds like a self-fulfilling prophecy. Yeah. This is the path that mankind must walk. How can you not see it? It's over now. Your Parnassus is gone. My power remains undiminished. Well, if you're just like, my what? <laughs> because my body itself is the Ark. I am the vessel that holds the new form of life. You're infected with stigma? He's no longer capable of judging right from wrong. How long did it take you to figure that out? <laughs> We are in symbiosis. Together with stigma, I will survive through the end of an age. That doesn't sound like that's how that works. As did my ancestors. So uh, can you use uh, it to prevent cell death? Because <laughs> you're going to kind of need that if you're going to live beyond, you know, normal human ages. Yeah. Elena, get the anesthetic. <laughs> yes, doctor. Marcus, don't tell me you plan to operate on him. I see edema on his body. The infection must be in the advanced stages. We can't allow this strain of stigma to leave here. We must confront it to learn the truth. Also, different music that only appears in this pre-op <laughs> conference. I've contacted Caduceus. We've sent them the research data we found as well. I've taken a look through the data. This is one troublesome stigma. He's named it Cardia. Could it oh have been boy. named that because that's where it attaches itself? It means heart. The heart. I think most people know what Cardia refers yeah. to. Yeah. Since there are I mean normally you hear cardio, but I mean 
think context clues there, you could probably figure out that they're similar enough, but they might have connected meanings. It's like they have the same etymology or something. <laughs> So basically, if we fail, everything gets screwed up. Okay. I won't let that happen. We have to completely remove all traces of cardio from the heart. Can all of you hear me? Director. Caduceus will do everything in his power to exterminate cardia. No, all stigma everywhere. Well, uh, aren't we already doing that? <laughs> I thought that's why we were here. Yeah. I'm sending staff to prevent secondary casualties through infections to you immediately. Okay, that's actually doing something. Thank you. Yeah, <laughs> appreciate it. Hi, Elena. We have a large number of skilled nurses ready to go, too. You don't have enough equipment there, right? We'll prepare some for you as well. Everybody needs to get a line, right? <laughs> <laughs> All you need to do is concentrate Oh, God, don't smile. That does not look like right. any other procedure. Dr. Everett, stop chit-chatting with them and prepare the equipment for transport. Everyone. Could say the same thing to you. <laughs> How encouraging. Yes. We're not the only ones here fighting. Doctor, I'll do my best as well. Let's put an end to stigma. So I like how we basically walked in, had a conversation, and I don't regret the dude. decisions I've made. I will <laughs> eliminate <some>. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's just how we do. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Let's begin the operation to remove the Cardia Stigma. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, let's do this. Okay, <laughs> let's begin the operation. Now I have to, to like stop stigma. myself from laughing so I can like <laughs> keep steady long enough to make this incision. <sighs> That's normal. Okay, so uh, to give you the lowdown on this, uh, we're gonna need to remove all of these to progress. And I assume there's uh, significance to the red one. Don't let it touch the red one. That will permanently drop the vitals. Oh. So like it'll lower the vital cap. Okay. So yeah, take that take that one out first. Um, the procedure that we need to do is antibiotic gel, and then cut it with the scalpel, and then a membrane. excise it's it with forceps. Okay, so area. maybe I start with gel. You start with okay. So the only thing, thing that I can't scalpel. Scalpel. So the thing that you need to keep in mind is that anything that you cut that touches an adjacent edge to something else that's cut will come off as one piece. You don't mm. want to remove a piece that the cardia is standing on. Okay. Otherwise, you'll get a uh, miss. That thing gel is up, must right? Be the core. Yes. The core moves on its own, covered in an outer shell. In one right now, we have little information about the core <laughs> itself. All right, let's get to. Please oh, more conversation. Please see what happens when the membrane covering the area has been removed. First, apply antibiotic gel to the membrane to soften it. Antibiotic gel. <laughs> After that, so I'm just gonna remove that one first, and now we can just kind of cut the rest of it out. It's possible to pick up multiple parts of the detached membrane. Good, just the membrane appeared. Huh? It disappeared? How did it get over there so fast? So basically, the trick is to try to, you know, restrict its movement as much as possible. Yeah. And, you know, get the last piece extracted. so that you can remove it after it leaves. Okay. It will teleport away, you know, every so often. Also, I just want to point out that his heart is kind of like black and bluish. That hmm. is not a normal color for that. No. All right, let's see if I can. If I can oh. isolate it, that'll cause it to teleport quickly, since it won't be able to move. Okay. Oh crap! That one turned red. What? The one that it just stepped on turned red. Oh, that's unfortunate. That'll happen every so often. Uh, why oh. did you do that? Because I'm not thinking all the way. The membrane has been completely Sorry. Removed. All right, one more round, and then we'll be on to the next phase. Again? Of oh, course, this isn't, it isn't the only one. There's also another one. Oh, I didn't see that. It it will head towards. Um, it'll head towards the red ones whenever they're present. Okay. I mean, it's, it's okay to take this a little slower. Okay. Just a little more. We did it. Ex 
Extraction complete. All right. So the second Grab phase is actually. I'm just gonna let the music play here for a moment because it's really awesome. Once they <laughs> stop talking. Uh, the core's out in the open now. The core will do things. I'll talk once you know relevant things happen. Okay. Okay. So basically, we're gonna be trying to attack the core with the laser. We'll finish okay. it with this. This is a really, really good track. All right, uh, forceps on this. Now we can laser. I'll get. I'll take care of this. You laser the core. Okay. Okay, it's gonna take three hits. Total. Waiting for. Oh wow, it's just doing this attack, which honestly. Oh, there we go. That's the fun attack that it sometimes it does. Uh, here, you take care of the laser. Okay. Okay, we didn't get a full hit on it. It's gonna take three OKs before we. Amazing. There we go. One more. A more doctor. Thank you for making all of those vertical. <laughs> okay, so it's gonna release a shockwave if it touches one of those. That's bad. Okay. All right. So a little bit more. The laceration has created a pool of blood. It's dangerous to leave it alone. Drain it. All right, so with this one, you have to use your healing touch. Okay, try to remove as many of these as possible. It'll get us a bit a better chain. We're supposed to kill it. Ah. Uh. But you can get like a really good chain, a really good score. If you remove everything. Okay. And that's it. It's honestly, it's more difficult when you're by yourself because you're removing yeah. those. Uh, uh, we almost ended with a 111 chain, but it's dying counted with one hit. Well, we're going to suture and do the bandage, too. Oh, yeah. But uh, it's a little bit more difficult to avoid the shockwaves when you're by yourself. You, know, ah. you have to remove all of those things. If it hits one of them, okay, it'll, you know, it'll do damage to the vitals. And actually, the more of them that it hits, uh, the more damage it does. So oh, that's, that's why fun. that one attack that it does at the end, where it you know does the whole giant ring of them, will yeah. instantly kill the patient if you don't do the healing touch. Ah. So if you're using Vaughn's, basically you just have to kill it before the healing touch run, runs out. Yeah. Uh, with Valerie's, uh, it's actually not as good because uh, it will basically burst all of them, but the vitals won't drop. Mm. Because, you know, that's the way that hers works. Okay. So with Valerie's, you lose your chain. Ah, yeah. That's annoying. Yeah, so that's why hers Doctor. isn't really as good in that situation. Hmm. And that's the final boss. Okay. And, yeah, we probably missed, like, no misses and... Mm-hmm. Boo. <laughs> you rid my body of the last stigma. Yes. Consider it your atonement. I don't know if I'll ever be able to atone for what I've done. Marcus, he seems different than before. Stigma is an antagonist for malignant diencephalic sclerosis. Okay. That's, uh, that's a fun sounding disease. Uh-huh. And the first part of it's kind of funny because it's just, if you take it by itself, it also you know holds meaning. Stigma is an antagonist in this <laughs> game. It has yeah. protected my brain until now. Without it, I won't survive for long. You use stigma to treat a diencephalic disorder? Wait, but then the change in his behavior, could it have been induced? Could he be suffering from delirium as a side effect? Or you mean... Could he have been, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Seems to be fine now. Yeah. It's getting hard to breathe. I let my anger take control of me. I was weak, and I, I lost myself. You were weak, you say. You might also say that you're a hack. You're a whack. <laughs> my regret is too much to bear. Well, uh, I guess good thing for you that, you know, you'll be dying soon. <laughs> I'm sure you saved countless lives over the years. But that <laughs> doesn't give you the right to take away even a single life. Dr. Vaughn, 
Dr. Blaylock. Thank you. You saved me. I was able to repent for my death. He's gone. He's dead, Jim. <laughs> Doctor. It's finally over. Well, that was a sudden end. That's because there's an epilogue. Ah. It's got a special difficulty, too. Which brought fear to the entire world. <laughs> of no difficulty. <laughs> was eliminated with the dismantling of the criminal organization Parnassus. Caduceus's international network was integral to the operation, providing treatment and taking preventative measures in a number of countries. See, there are more people than just us. <laughs> because of their efforts, the disease was successfully contained, and the crisis caused by man's divisiveness was brought to an end through cooperation. <laughs> what if this music was actually playing? Oh god, she's still here! From the president himself. What if this music was actually playing like, throughout the building? <laughs> <laughs> he wants to recognize you all for your efforts in fighting stigma. I tried to persuade them. But their answer was still only that no. character right, could our, our, make you have an invitation from the president sound like uh, yawn yawn i've met the president 48 times <laughs> i'll prepare an official statement if you like i just don't understand it's such an honor they've gone through some painful experiences oh, those, those last two lines had traces of emotion <laughs> An occasion There's such hope. as this would only open the wounds. What they need right now is to be with the patients they've treated, to see their smiling faces. Yeah, except for that one guy who died. Yeah. He's not really smiling much these days. Our top priority is the analysis of Vahushti's data on stigma. I have to admit, though, I'm not exactly looking forward to it. However, it's of tremendous importance to pathology and pharmacology. True. But it's hard not to think about Cynthia at a time like this. It would be the perfect opportunity for her to undo some of the damage she's done. I like to believe that while she was here, she focused on helping people. I just can't bring myself to think otherwise. Well, our purpose here at Caduceus is to save lives. I'm sure that's where her heart was while she was with us. Dr. Everett, why don't we call it a day and get some dinner? Don't have dinner with her, it's a bad idea. <laughs> Last time we tried it, we got kidnapped. Yeah. <laughs> you too, Robert, if you have the time. Well, this is a rare occasion. Sure, why not? And then they were kidnapped. <laughs> All right, Elena, see you tomorrow. Bye, Leslie. Looks like that's it for today. The director assigned us so many patients, we didn't even have time for a break. Are you ready to head out, Marcus? Not quite. I need to finish this up first. By the way, Val, I'll be out the day after tomorrow. I'm going to see Professor Wilkins. Is it about restoring his memory? Mind if I tag along? No, not at all. Then I'll inform the director. You weren't planning on leaving me behind, were you? I am a member of the Special Disease Counteraction Team. Elena. All right, you two. Let's go get some fresh air. You know, looking at the city like this, it almost seems like nothing ever happened. Do you have any regrets, Elena? You know, if you hadn't followed me to Alaska, you wouldn't have had to go through the whole ordeal. And maybe this game is just Sonic 06, you know, and it writes itself <laughs> out of cabin. I don't have a single regret, Dr. Vaughn. All those sparkling lights, each one is a patient, and they're counting on us to take good care of them. Stigma is gone, but who knows what's in store for us next. I'll never quit being a doctor, Marcus. No matter what happens, no matter how hard it may seem at times, or how much danger I have to face, for the sake of those patients that only I can help. I feel the same way. I'll be counting on you. And I'll be counting on you. And that's the game. <laughs> okay. So, what'd you think? Not bad. Is that all you have to say? I mean, I don't know. I mean, again... <laughs> It's still not the kind of game that I would go out and play on my own, just because it's not personally my style of game. But I definitely have respect for what it and Trauma Team did, and 
I did enjoy playing them. It's just, again, not necessarily personally my first choice, but again, it wasn't bad. I did kind of enjoy what myself, even though I was mostly incompetent. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I wish the series was a little bit more popular. Yeah. Uh, one of our friends and I were like, are pretty much the only two people that I really know that are into it. <laughs> yeah. Um, and beyond that, I think it's just kind of a really niche game. Right. I think pretty much everywhere. Like, it's not more popular in Japan than it is here. Yeah. Um, I mean, it might be, but not enough for it to be a big deal in Japan. Yeah. So, yeah. Atlas makes good games. Is, <laughs> is the moral of the story. Because they, they make the Persona series. They've made these series of games. Mm-hmm. So, they definitely have a track record of being, like, one of my favorite developers. In terms of, like... <laughs> They don't really make bad games, you know, which is <laughs> yeah. impressive to say, considering, yeah. you know, all the game development companies that, you know, have bad marks on their records. Mm -hmm. Sega, Activision, yeah. EA. <laughs> Unfortunately, most of Sonic Team's work these days. Yeah, so it's a good game. I wish more people would know about the series. I don't yeah. know if Atlas really has any plans to make any more games in the series, though, unfortunately, because I think yeah. they're spending I mean, a they lot could... of their time working on, like, Persona and Shin Megami Tensei. Yeah, and I mean, if they wanted to, I mean, they're running out of systems that they can really do this kind of game on. I mean, they're still the 3DS. Yeah, I mean, they could technically do something on 3DS. The only um, downside to that, though, is that they don't get any better resolution out of the bottom screen. <laughs> Yeah. You know, even though the top screen is better than the DS mm -hmm. was. Yeah. So, there is that. I mean, they're both slightly higher resolution than the DS, but not by much. I guess. But yeah, really, not not by that much. I think the DS is like 192 pixels high, and the 3DS is 240 high. Ooh. Yeah. Fancy. Which, of course, means that if you play... DS games on 3DS. Either you go actual resolution and it's tiny, or you go full screen and it's blurry. No, no in between. <laughs> yeah. So the one, one thing that I actually do like about this game, the credits aren't like unbelievably long. Yeah, that's always nice. Um, unlike in you know some games, well, particularly some of the games you know made with uh, by multiple studios, or it's a mm -hmm. studio working for like another big company that's publishing yeah. the game. So and, like, I mean, off the top of my head... For example, the, the Sonic Rayman... Mania. I was, you know, I got through mm. those credits, and when they were starting, I thought, oh, you know, these are probably going to be pretty short, you know? Like, I don't yeah. think a lot of people worked on this, but then they went through, like, every single person at Sega. <laughs> <laughs> uh. And I remember uh, Rayman Origins and Legends are both really long. Oh, yeah, and those... Like, I think those go upwards of half an hour. Yeah, like... They're slow, and there's a lot of people working on it. At the very least, you can destroy those credits. <laughs> yeah, so there's something to do. There's something to do. It's but... like, it would be wrong to take the credits out, but it does suck that it's also the worst part of a game. <laughs> like, I feel bad that that's the case, but unfortunately, it just kind of is. Yeah. Yeah. Well, getting getting back Smash to Bros. this. games do interesting stuff with the credits, though be fair yeah getting getting back to this game though really solid game you yeah know, if you like it you should get it yeah if Even, it looks interesting definitely pick it up i mean i'm sure you can get it used somewhere for not yeah. too much money i'm not sure how much of a bump i'm gonna be able to give it in popularity <laughs> compared to say game grumps but <laughs> yeah <laughs> you know I've, I've put my word in yep so, other than that, we're not technically done, you know, in case you couldn't tell from the Challenge missions. 4 and <laughs> X1... Care. Yeah, I was going to say... I... <laughs> Words are weird. <laughs> so, uh, you know what? We do I have prefer a little pronouncing bit... it cheer. <laughs> <laughs> we do have a little bit Let's left go to Let's go destroy cheer. So, uh, we'll see you next time. I've been Red X Parasite. I've been Area 327. Signing out. <laughs>